Hello everyone, I'm HexDSL, and as part of the article I talked about in my last video, um, which is which is Hex doing things differently in 2024, trying to drop subscriptions and get single-use applications, single-purchase applications, um, Reader 5 is on the menu. Reader 5 is an RSS reader. I have been using Readwise. Readwise is a fantastic service. I have nothing bad to say about Readwise, other than the fact that it's remote hosted and there's a, month, a yearly or monthly subscription for it, which is something I'm trying to break the chains of. So this is what I'm currently on. Um, so, Reader 5, your news reader, which is great. Um, reader 5 is probably, I mean, it's the only one I've tried on the grounds that I looked at a few, <clears throat> and then I went, oh, that's it's obviously the one I want, because it's, I mean, it's everything I need. Um, it's priced, I think it's about, I want to say it's about, no, it's about a tenner, 15, tenner on phone, 15 on, it's not hugely cheap, like, but it's also uh, basically my forever reader. There's nothing else, the, the, you couldn't replace this, because this is everything I want, which is nice. Um, and marked a bunch of feeds as read because weirdly people really i've noticed on the internet people really judge you based on what you read so they assume they know your politics based on what things you read which is not true um i read lots of things to get a nice wide scope and people that are choosing things right um but i marked a bunch of red i'm not going to show you i'm not actually going to show you my subscription feed feed list here because yeah it's, it's weirdly people are really oddly weird about this um anyway i just thought a little side rant side rant there's nothing wrong with reading stuff guys um, so a good example is Ars Technica. Click on Ars Technica. There is all the articles from Ars Technica that are unread. And if I click on unread, it will show me all the things in this list in one long list based on the time that's released. And um, doesn't group them by site. It just it's just when they're at time then that's posted. And I've got like yesterday. Um, where is it? Yesterday, today, like little gaps. Um, it's really good. I really like it. It's pretty good. This is as simple as um, add a feed. <laughs> that's it. Uh, add a feed. That's it. If I go into um, here, I can badge count red, so it tells me the number of unread articles I've got there in red. It's going to use Safari as my browser. It's got a nice reading mode. Um, it's got bionic reading, which is pretty cool. I can show you bionic reading. Um, so if I go to this pointless article about a product I don't care about, I can enable bionic reading here, and it does some cool stuff to the font, which makes it easier to read fast and scan through. Um, personally, I don't find it helpful at all, but people seem to really like it. I just have a nice font, and that's fine. Um, it's got tagging, it's got, now with a read it later service, for me, like this thing has got here, it's also got a read it later, so you can add things to its internal read it later. But then you can, either, there's no like organization and archiving in the way there is with something like uh, Good Links. Um, so I want to use this just as an RSS reader, not as a read it later service, but it does have that functionality built in. If you're someone that reads something that just removes it and doesn't want to keep an archive, probably a great read it later service for you, but it's not for me. Um, it syncs again via iCloud, which is great. The best way of syncing because it's transparent, works on my devices. And I don't have any setup, which is great. Um, so it'll bring a feed in. I read the feed. I can decide if I want to add it. So this will add it to reminders for me, which is really quite good because um, that can be how I remind myself to read this later or share it later. Uh, it's got a button to copy the link here, which is good. It's got markers unread. Star it, tag it if I wanted to. Yeah, I don't. It's weird. This is weird because I, I use this as an, in, as an inbox. I read. If I want to read it later, I will share it to Good Links. I will share it to Good Links from here, and Good Links is where I keep my long-term archive of reading stuff. But that's just my workflow, um, or whatever read it later service you use. But it is nice. It's it's got it gives the full RSS, brings in the images. It handles everything I want really, really well. There's, I've got no issues with it. Um, this uh, this this dark thing it does seems to be when they update an article um, after it's been released, so it sort of keeps the old one there. I think the dark mode's probably buggering that up a bit, but whatever. Um, yeah, not really an issue. Uh, read mode is that read it later mode? That'll add it to reading list, which is which is the, the, the which is the thing over here. The read it later list. I'll add it to that. Um, oh, look at that! And I went I went right too far. I scrolled to the right too far, and it brought up the entire website, which is nice. That you can, which was going to be the next feature I talk about. So you, when you're on a website, you're reading it, and you think I want to read a bit more. Swipe across, and you can read the whole article on the website. Um, adds it all i prefer if i can to read it here and if like, like it's annoying that you can't read the whole article apple insider so what that means is this is the this is the most i'm going to read of most <laughs> most things uh yeah you can also click this button here show in reader view so you can click that and it'll it'll load the full site but in the reader mode so rather than going to the, we will go to the website functionally but we'll use the reader mode of the website which is quite good a good way of backdooring that. Uh, this button here is what is this button? Oh, add, this is the add to read it later. This is add to that's Safari reading list in its own read it later. And I just open in Safari. It's really good. It's not. I mean, 
I'm kind of babbling a little bit because there's not a lot to say. If you know what an RSS reader is, great. Um, how do we get things in here fast though? This is another thing I like this about. Here's Safari. Um, there's me. I want to put this, this site in, in my read it later. So I can click, oh, I don't have an RSS feed. <laughs> it's not going to work. So I click this button here, this button here, boom, subscribed. Like, boom, I'm unable to subscribe because there's, there's no host name. But yeah, anyway, in theory, you can just subscribe to it through that if it's got an RSS feed. Ironically, this website doesn't. Uh, also, there's this button here to add to the Read It Later service it has built in, which I'm probably going to disable because I really don't use it. I, really, I use good links for all that. It's nicer, it's there. Um, as an RSS reader goes, this is like it's bomb proof. I mean, like, there's, there's, it's, it's everything I want out of an RSS. It's great. I, I don't have any, I have no caveats. Like, I can't imagine a feature that you could add. Oh, that's a pretty picture. I can't imagine a feature you could add which would make me move away from this. This is like the perfect RSS reader. Um, and the fact that it syncs between all my devices is just superb. It is a double purchase, one purchase for desktop, one purchase for mobile and iPad, um, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but I kind of do help us go get paid right, so I kind of don't mind it. Um, and Goodreads 4 was around for many years. Goodreads 5 is relatively new, about a year old, I think. So I'm expecting Goodreads 6 to be in another couple of years so i don't feel like it's an expensive amount of money and there's nothing saying i have to update i can just carry on using this so thank you for watching i've been hexdsl have a great day um you can subscribe to me if you'd like that'd be lovely um join me on discord um discord.xdsl.com uh support me on patreon uh, patreon.com slash xdsl buy me a gift on my wish list if you'd like at wishlist.xdsl.com and um, basically though just hang out make a comment we'll be friends it's great